Hey guys, welcome back to West Kentucky Blue Collar Outdoors. I'm Andy Corbin, your host. I'm with KC and my good buddy Hunter. And we've been doing some hunting here in this last week of the season, 2019, 2020, here in Western Kentucky. Hasn't been a great year, uh, but it's been a good year for product reviews. And we've had some products that we've brought to you, some of the good, some of the bad, and some of the ugly, because you know that's what we do here at West Kentucky BCO. We want to look out for you and try to give you the best bang for your buck and outdoor gear and products. So today we've got a real special uh, piece for you. We've actually got the Avian X uh, Black Duck Decoy. Now these Avian X Duck Decoys we bought at the beginning of the season to kind of enhance our spread. Uh, and anybody that knows, uh, you want to try to get a little variation in your spread. Uh, and I can tell you that Black Ducks will definitely bring uh, some difference in your spread, maybe that the ducks are not seeing in other spreads. And so uh, we've ordered these Avian X Black Ducks, and there's some good uh, and there's some bad. Not really a lot of ugly, but there's definitely some good and bad uh, to the Avian X. You guys know that we've always been uh, high on the Dakota decoys. If you look at any of our other videos, uh, we've done some on Higdon uh, and the Alpha Magnum goose floaters uh, and we also wanted to do some here on these avian x men so you know that we love the dakota decoys and we think that they are the top of the line uh, but we also like the look of the avian x now if you look at this black duck decoy uh, it is full flocked on the back and on the sides uh, and i'm going to tell you it looks great in the spread if you saw the product shot coming into the video you'll see those things stand out on the water and when you put them in uh, with a group of mallards uh, they make your spread even stand out more and so uh, i really do like uh, the flocking that's on these again we've used these for a season and you know that we're not gentle with our decoys we said that the same about the dakotas and about the higdons uh, and we just we pick them up on texas rigs this one actually has a long line on it because we've been hunting in deeper water uh, but we're certainly not kind to these uh, as far as babying them and putting them into slotted bags. We just put them into our regular tanker bags and uh, we we see that the flocking is held up pretty good. Now you see a nick or two here and there, uh, but it still looks really good after a year's worth of wear. And so I think that the flocking is gonna wear very well on these. Still looks plush, uh, still looks dark from the sky. Uh, and I think you guys are really gonna like these uh, from a color standpoint with that. Now. Avian did not flock the heads, uh, and so the heads are going to be more durable probably than anything. Now, you know uh, on Dakotas or Avian X, any of the ones where the heads are flocked, you know the heads always have the most problem because we're always putting them in typically uh, head first or in the heads are always bumping together. And so uh, these, you're probably going to get better results from these painted heads than you would maybe a flocked head. Uh, but there are a couple of drawbacks to them as good as they look and as good as we uh, think they look in our spread. Probably the number one comparison that all the people that hunted with us noticed was that the Dakotas swam so much better uh, than the Avian X's. Now, I don't know if this is the case with uh, the Dakota versus the Avian X Mallards, uh, but with our Avian X uh, Black Ducks versus our Dakota Mallards, when you had them side by side, the Dakotas were swimming like crazy, uh, like a real duck would po possibly swim, and the Black Ducks were just sitting. Um, you can tell that today we've got about a 10 mile an hour wind uh, here in the place where we hunt, uh, and our Black Ducks just, they just didn't swim very well. We've even had these uh, hunting in a flooded field where we had about a 20 mile an hour wind and they still didn't swim very well. Uh, and so that's probably the number one drawback that we see to the Avian X ones. And we're not sure if it's the keel. I know here, if you can see here on the keel, uh, they've got this little clip right here in the center that you put your line in uh, and that's supposed to make them swim better uh, but we we couldn't tell a difference if it was in the front or if it was in that middle piece right there because uh, we really wanted them to swim uh, that brings realism to our decoy spread and obviously that helps us kill more ducks uh, but we just could not get that from the avian x and so uh, maybe not an ugly but uh, or a bad or an ugly but just just kind of a negative uh, and so we, we really could tell a difference versus the Dakota. Uh, but I can tell you this, the avians look great. Uh, and if you've got motion around you, maybe with pulsators or swimmers or, 
or some other duck decoy, some other type of kicker or something, uh, that the black ducks are going to look really, really good in your spread, and it's going to make yours stand out. So, again, uh, we're here at BCO. Uh, we like the look. Uh, we like that the flocking looks like it's going to be good and durable. The bad was that they didn't swim as well as maybe a, D a Dakota decoy or some of our others. So, Again, uh, thank you so much for subscribing to our YouTube page. Uh, KC, uh, she gives it four paws up when you guys uh, get on there and subscribe. And she loves it really when you guys are posting things, uh, comments, and telling us how you're using the products in the field and how much uh, that you use our reviews. Uh, we want to do this not for uh, any gain. We want to do it just to help the outdoorsmen because we're outdoorsmen ourselves. And so uh, we don't know about you, but we want to get the best bang for our buck. Uh, we work for our money and we don't want it wasted. We don't mind spending it if it's going to help us kill more ducks or bigger deer or catch more fish, but we certainly don't want to lose money on a product that's not worth what they say it's worth. And so thank you again for getting on the social media sites. Uh, you know we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, and we're on Twitter. We love hearing from your comments. Send us some uh, different things coming up. You know we've got turkey seasons just right around the corner. We're probably going to be killing some yotes here in just a, a, a day or two, maybe getting out in the field and getting to do some of that. So just to get out and enjoy God's green earth and the relationship that we have with him through being out in the outdoors. So thanks again. God bless. Thank you for watching.